Good morning, guys. Chris and I are heading over to OSW. It is freaking early. We had to get up at 6 and we went to bed at 3. I'm gonna be low on sleep today, but I'm stoked to drive through the car. Track's been hot for about an hour or two now just now about to go out for the first time um, I'm just trying to stay chill there's there's a lot going on this is the most of my cars I've ever had in one area at once ever we got the whole merch set up looking great my parents and Chris are helping run that at the moment and now it's time for me to get some seat time in the three rotor R7 Chris is here in the new merch thank you Chris wait wait, wait let me get thank my... you for sending it fresh Ooh. in these will be dropping on the house of pre website directly after the Invitational, but got the first ones here. Can you be normal? I know it's hard sometimes. Just try. Try. There we go. Oh, look at Chris being a normal model. Try to do that at night. Did you do the pre-mix dance? Do it, girl. Show me no, what you actually. I want to know what this pre-mix dance is because it's giving. It's just a little wiggle, you know. That's girl, that is pathetic. Here, give me, give me. Oh, two at once. Wow. You're really good at that. Yep, there we go. Okay, wow. Okay, I, can one, I can do one really good. Okay, I can do one really good. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you should say sorry. Wait, what happened? You should be saying sorry. What did I do? Did it get on you? You can't really ever tell when this is almost full, so it's probably going to be everywhere. Wow. Don't judge. Oh, I can tell. You can tell by here. Yeah, but by the time you can see it, it's like already she coming, you know? Well, this is Ignite, the high performance. Uh, perform oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Also, I don't know if you guys noticed at the three rotor test day in the last video. I'm rocking an open face bubble shield helmet. I absolutely fell in love with these in Japan, but the weirdest thing driving is how much I see. I'm not used to seeing so many things in the car and everything around me, but it's pretty sick. I haven't driven with this blue visor yet, but I thought it looks good with the car. So I'm gonna try that one first, but always yellow visors are always, always my favorite. They make everything so much more vibrant and saturated. I'm gonna go out, do a few laps, get comfortable again in the three rotor car. About to blow everybody's eardrums out, but it'll be good fun. <laughs> But a 56 is her score because she misses some of those outer zones. It's something to build on. Everybody gets a second roll of the dice. The nitrous kind of started working. So that is a very, very good sign. This car is super hard to drive without it, but it sounds amazing. And I still am just pinching myself, but I'm able to just drive the three rotor R7 now at an event by myself. Uh, that's how good the car is. And we're still dialing it in, but qualifying, I at least got a score. I think I. I think I have 56. We did a second run, um, so everyone's doing that now, and hopefully we just do better than the last one. Six. <laughs>
Can Colette Davis split the ball? It goes off. Here we go. Colette fires in. Very aggressive. Wide. Oh, nice job from Colette. Put the bumper bar to the BC Racing Barriers. Incredible sounding rotary power to FC. This looks like a much better run for Colette here in her second half. Look at that. Across the line she goes. Sends the cones flying. Super fast run. <laughs> Representing the house of Pre. Great run from Colette. Let's see what she scores. She improves from a 56 to a 62. Oh, hell yeah, baby. That was so much better. This car literally needs nitrous at the moment, but when it hits right, it is so good. I love this car. Even though it's like not as good as the child, that's kind of like, you know, a little rebellious at times and hard to deal with. We love them at the end of the day. Top eight up for grabs. A lot of pressure on these drivers. Short course full of large mistakes. That's what happens on this place. And here we go. Kevin comes through the gears. Colette staying pretty close, though, leaving a little bit of room. Kevin going for a shallow initiation. He hasn't had a whole lot of practice, mind you. A lot of fixing of that car in the just before qualifying. Colette now doing a tentative run here in the chase, trying to be uh, not too aggressive, but very smooth from both drivers. Colette may be feeling she's done enough on the first run to not be overly aggressive here, but no major mistakes from Kevin or Colette. Nice smooth drifting, but I can't confirm. Going through to the top eight is Colette Davis. Colette Davis gets the win. And she's going through to the top eight. Unfortunately, Kevin Schultz bowing out. Screaming at the top of my lungs. Your lead was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Zones were great. Speed was great. He was a tad bit more throttle commitment for a little bit more angle and smoke. But you won because of your lead. You had a better lead than him in both of your chases. You guys had, like, not the best proximity and some mistakes. You just got to, once you get in there, just be dominant and just, like, zoot it and zoot it. Yeah, I was worried about not like the car being too fast for the speed of his car on the yeah. chase but with the my next battle i don't have to worry about that you got it i haven't been able to see the runs yet but that was awesome i'm finally learning how to chase in this car i was really nervous about pushing that limit though because i knew that kevin was in a much slower car so for me that was what i was most worried about it's actually a lot harder to chase a slower car especially in a rocket ship like this it just wants to freaking dive and take off um but I'm starting to figure it out. So that was awesome. Lead felt great. And now we got Aaron. So I'm going to do my best to try and stay neck and neck with him and commit all the way through. Now he's driving his old reliable S14 that he actually won the Invitational in last year. So going into the side of battle, wish me luck. That up, it's not easy jumping in there. Absolute treat to see these guys driving together. All these fantasy battles that we're having right now. It is this incredible. Is the, what, what internet dreams are made of? Absolutely. And we've got another one coming up. we got Colette Davis going up against Aaron Losey. Where would it happen? Where would it happen? Rumor has it Aaron Losey was drifting before Colette Davis was born. So oh, that's, 110%. That's probably, I'm not doing the math on it, but I'm, I'm going to assume. 1953. And what you've got here is, you know, Colette in a very unusual chassis. And Aaron arrives in an unusual chassis, but ends up back in his V8 S14. <laughs> so he's more deadly, I think, in that V8 S14. Oh, for yeah, way sure. more seat time. Way more seat time. A lot of experience for Losey. Wow, look at the speed. But Colette comes out absolutely flying. And Aaron Losey gets caught a little there, Dan, as he didn't expect Colette to come out so fast. And this is a big run. 
from Colette Davis in that lead position. Aaron Losey trying to get back up onto the fender, but he can't. And Colette's car is a rocket ship through here. I don't know if Aaron Losey was sleeping on the line, but or hey, Colette he's a, just was. He's a new dad. He's a new mode. dad. He's tired all the time. That's oh, how it boy. works. I understand those feels. Look at that off the line, Colette Davis. Oh, she spooled on him. A little bit of drag racing experience on one side of there, so Colette Davis comes off like a rocket. And again, Aaron has to cut the course quite considerably to get back up. He's almost front wheel to front wheel there on the outer zone, so interesting to see what the judges will say there. But very yeah. good run on Colette's part on that lead. Absolutely love to see it. So at the moment, Trevor Jameson, the only driver making it through to the final four. We will see Harrison against TJ again in a moment, but right now in the balance between Colette Davis and Aaron Losey, and when it comes out of your mouth, you don't realize some of these battles are even possible, and I'm loving it. Oh, this is absolutely fantastic. It's like Mortal Kombat versus Street Fighter. It just You don't see this stuff every day. Marvel versus SNK. Exactly. Well, Colette Davis in the chase position now. She's going to trust Aaron Losey's lead here because he is one of the most experienced drivers on the grid. Super smooth driver. I think Colette's got to go for it here. She's got Losey on the ropes. As they come off the line, knock back it down an inch here. Colette giving a little bit of room as they come into that first corner. Locking the front brakes. Starting to get back up on him. And Colette Davis being oh tied my goodness Colette Davis gracious. as she goes on to the door of Aaron Losey. Colette's got the pace here. Will she make one last dive across Colette the Colette Davis line? putting it all on the line. That's Holy what we came smokes. to see. She almost pushed him back out the front gate of the venue. Here, love to see it. You love to see it. Now, we break it down. She did lose him a little bit on that first corner. Losey with that look at that outer zone. Nice. But Colette gets back into it. Her front wheel was locked the whole way through outer zone one. And we were just talking about that earlier today. She was like, I don't really left foot break. I don't know what I'm doing. And she just put on a clinic of left foot break. Diligence. Incredible stuff. And Aaron Losey, remember, won this competition last year. Give it up Give it for up. Colette Davis and Aaron Losey. What a battle. What a battle. Going through to the final four is Colette Davis. Colette Davis takes down last year's winner. Well, it's going to be one of those weekends, folks. Dan, talk us through it. Two solid runs from Colette there. Oh, my goodness. Put on a clinic. I was watching her through practice. We watched her through qualification. Neither of the runs were like that. Wow. Machine gun in her way off the course. I think if you have a rotary powered car and it doesn't do that, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Yeah, so some, Colette of, the, some Davis, of the best driving I've seen from her. Let's just recap. Colette Davis, and I mean, it doesn't matter who took down Aaron Losey, but he's the shark in the water. He won this last year in that car, by the way. That's, uh, that's no small feat. <laughs>
Honestly, this car hasn't really ever run good enough to tandem with people, so I'm just glad to drive with anyone. I am so happy that this car is where it's at now and that it's a fully functioning drift car, and I just want to drive with everybody. But it'd be nice to leave a door mark on Adam's car, of course. I'm excited to see this thing out there. Here's where we're at right now. As Colette Davis will go up against the winner of Matt Mogensen or Sean Booth. <laughs> Abbott, we moved the action very closely on to two people who know each other very well from everyday life going head to head. It's going to be Colette Davis and Sean Booth. Get your camera phones out because I'll tell you one thing, this is going to be fireworks. Oh, I'm excited. Orby versus Rotary, FC versus S15. Sean Booth and Colette Davis, two of the most impressive drivers in competition today, go head to head. <laughs> Is taking it to the right now. Wow, we didn't see that coming, Dad. See what a lead run. That could be the fastest car in competition here today. What the? Let's go time. Here we go. Colette Davis versus Sean Booth. Into that first corner. They go. Rocket ship. Colette Davis from the Holy line. Sean smokes. Booth. No answer as they come through the first outer zone. Sean Booth starting to wind it in. Now got to make a big dive, but he has to got the pace for that Oryx 7. Colette, Colette Davis. Davis is taking it to the moon right now. Wow. wow we didn't see that coming, Dan. Didn't what a see lead run. She has absolutely just blown my mind this evening that could be the fastest car in competition here today it is zippy it's got a bit of pep to its step yeah, it's got some pep and watch sean booth comes off the start like cannot believe the grip in that rx7 and now he's cutting the track everywhere to try and what the worst thing is sean is cutting the track to get proximity but he doesn't get the proximity so no, he's kind of in the middle of the track rocket. and i mean collect look at this look on the other zone whoa on the K-Rails, Colette Davis. I'm just saying, if I was a betting man right now. For Adam, the, Adam's down there doing the, the proud, the, the proud, the proud boyfriend, boyfriend thing. moment. He's there going, you get him. <laughs> you go get him, girl. There's no excuse for her not to be up close and personal here for the whole run. We switch him around. Sean Booth in the lead. And look at Colette taking a dive on that inside of the first corner. Colette Getting Davis. That boost took a little while. And now Sean Booth starting to claw back into this one as Colette Davis goes wide in the chase position. Sean Staying Booth. on him. Now Holy Colette Davis. Smoke. Oh, big transition from <laughs> Colette Davis across the finish line. I want to 
to hear the loudest cheer of the day. Give it up for Sean Boot and Colette Davis! One of these drivers will go through to the final to face TJ Hunt and guarantee themselves a space in tomorrow's main event. The other will have to battle Trevor Jameson. The spotlight is off. <laughs> Going through to the final is Colette Davis! Goes through to the final against TJ Hunt and Sean Booth, get back in your car. You got Trevor Jameson and one last chance to get into that main event. It's like she's thrown caution to the wind and it's just like, you know what? I'm gonna put the car in all the right places. Holy smokes. That's just impressive. I remember driving with her for the first time on Drift Week 2, I believe. But and she was timid and, and like, I don't want to tandem with anybody and, and to this in less than a year and a half? Oh, so good. That was oh, that's a lot. the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Davis just pulled that out of nowhere, and I'm nervous for tomorrow now. <laughs> nice job, dude. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. She's killing it. Nice job. She's killing it. <laughs> driving the car what is happening I'll be honest right now uh, he's right there apparently allegedly I'll be honest right now we are witnessing the birth of a phenomenal driver in Colette Davis nobody entered that corner faster than her on that run today nobody got away with the moves she tried on that run today that is the best lead run I've seen all day incredible <laughs> Please make some noise for Colette Davis. Well, we know this one is only for fun, but there is a winner. Judges have locked in a winner. It's very close. It's very, very close. TJ Hunt gets the win. Sean Booth in third step. Colette Davis in second. Give it up for Colette Davis getting through to the main events. Well, you know what? Second today, it might be first tomorrow, and TJ Hunt is coming in hot tomorrow as well. We just got some news that the first battle tomorrow will be Colette Davis versus Adam LZ. Oh, my God. You can't write you a can't story write. better than this. If I wrote this, no one would believe it, right? So that's what's coming up tomorrow, the main event. <laughs> So I definitely would have never expected to make it all the way into the finals. Of course, Mr. Hunt had to take me out. 
but I think it finally clicked with this car. <laughs> I'd say so. Like, I think something <laughs> finally within me has finally connected with this thing. I've never been able to drive like a big turbo drift car very well and this one it is so freaking hard to chase people i learned a lot that's pretty freaking crazy that the car did as well as it did and i guess i get to drive more tomorrow now so that's it <laughs> Come now.